This is the place, brothers. When does it open, brothers? In mere moments. My anticipation is vast, brothers. Though I wish we could have returned to the warehouse for a new leg before venturing here. It's a matter of conserving effort, brothers. We have to take our purchases back to the warehouse anyway. So why make two trips? As always, brother, your reasoning is flawless. At last. Good morning, gentlemen. You're certainly here early. As they say, the early bird catches the worm. Though I caution you not to conclude by the aphorism that we wish you to offer us food. True. Kindly interpret the saying strictly in a metaphorical sense. Um, sure. What can I do you for? We're eager to buy goods. Agreed. Our enthusiasm overflows. Okay, you're in the right place. What sorts of guns do you have in mind? One of each kind. The Woodland, New York City. As you can see, one had a wooden leg. I picked it up in the hopes of being able to beat the bastards to death with it, but they got away. So what's your scam, Jack? What do you mean? I don't believe you got mugged. You're up to something, and I don't have time for it. I'm not! Look at me! You're lying now, because you always lie. Not this time! Jack, did you ever hear about the boy who cried wolf? Sure, Snow, he lives on the seventh floor, so what? My cab's waiting. I have to go. They were fables, Bigby! New fables in Fable Town! How so? Because otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to walk away from the beating I handed out. Sure, Jack. You certainly look like you've got the better of them. How many kinds of guns have you meatheads created? Thousands! Hundreds of thousands! That's extravagance beyond credulity. Are there really that many different kinds of people you need to kill? And what about bombs? Where do we get those? Do we also buy them here? Or are bombs sold at a different shop? I don't. Time is fleeting, brothers. We should take these and be on our way. Oh, you can't take those with you today, gentlemen. Why so ever not? Because the government requires a three-day waiting period. Assuming you buy them today, you can't actually pick them up until Friday. If you insist. Now it's Friday. Gather up the guns, brothers. You can't do this! Orders? Orders for meat? Astonishing. Appalling. Some sort of corrective instruction seems appropriate, brothers. Without question, brothers. That nasty little blue boy is playing again. Why must he always play such sad songs? And why in public? Look at the effect he's having on happy, honest citizens. We should have laws against such things. I should march right into the mayor's office and... He's had a particularly bad couple of days, Mrs. Webb. Let him have his privacy. At the cost of our own peace and quiet? Give it a rest, you prissy little baby. You've already got everyone down the basement digging holes... Want to let up on us sometime before we break out the razors and start slashing wrists? Be nice, Pinocchio. Fine, I'll stop. We're here for you, buddy. What can we do to cheer you up? Nothing. Want to go to the comic shop? No, thanks. The candy store? Our treat. 
That's not how you get over a broken heart, Flycatcher. There's only one surefire cure. Hookers. A treat. But how could she reject me without even giving me a chance to explain myself? Who can truly know the mysteries of a woman's heart? We're supposed to be cheering him up, Fly. Keep talking like that and he'll start playing his goddamn dirges again. I thought his music was sweet. Ride. I owe you an apology, Blue. I had no idea you survived the keep at world's end. Suddenly, seeing you alive was like seeing a ghost. It shocked me and I panicked. Can you forgive my foolishness? Forgive you? Never! I mean, there's nothing to forgive. You haven't done anything. You're... Oh, hell, I'm babbling. You're doing fine. What I mean to say is you're lovely and perfect and I adore you. I wish that were still true, still possible. So much has happened, so many years have passed since we... I'm not the same girl you loved so long ago. Impossible. We're ageless. Our love has to be too. Someone kill me, please, before I drown in this saccharine crap! Shut up, Pinocchio. Don't ruin the moment. What? What did he call you? Sorry, I didn't introduce my friends. This is Flycatcher, more commonly known as the Frog Prince. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. And this is my roommate, Pinocchio. You look like you swat a goat. Do I know you, or do I have a booger showing, or what? No, nothing like that. We've never met, but I've heard of you. How? I came from a small town in a tiny kingdom in one of the poorest and most insignificance of the old world. Nevertheless, you're a legend among... If you know about me, did you hear about my dad? My knowledge, he never got out of the homelands. I can't believe I'm actually seeing you... in person. If you two want to be alone... I'm sorry, Blue. I have so much I need to say to you. Can we talk somewhere privately? Sure, let's go to my- Not here. Too many distractions. Let's go to the place I stayed last night. Um, okay. Sure. Strange girl. Hey, look. Blue left his trumpet behind. Hellfire shit fuel! Blue never goes anywhere without his horn! Look, it's dented. Not a good sign. You think it's a bad omen? Could be. I certainly think that woman is trouble. Good evening, Your Honor. Did you have a nice dinner out in the Monday? It was adequate, John. Merely adequate. Grumble! Take that quote just thing down this instant. Lord Beast Lady Beauty, I simply love what you've done with the place. Well, it's small. Cozy. All that we can afford on both our salaries. That's about to change. Excuse me, Mr. Charming. It's Prince Charming again, dear. Remember he bought his title back? Please sit, your highness. How's your coffee? Would you like more cream or sugar? It's perfect. Now, as to what I was saying... Something about our salaries? Yes, you'll have to forgive me if I don't recall your current placements. I work maintenance. Boilers and such. For the Fable Town buildings. I clerk at Nod's books. Fine, well and good. But I'm here to offer you new jobs. 
which I'm confident will come at a substantial improvement on your current incomes. We're listening. To the point, then. By this time next month, I'm going to be the new mayor of Fable Town. Possibly. Definitely. An election is just a romance writ large, with an entire community, rather than a single woman, has the object of one's pursuit. And I always win the object of my pursuit. The day after I win, Snow White will quit as deputy mayor. She won't ever work with me. Not that I blame her. Soon after that, Bigby will quit as sheriff for substantially the same reasons. These two positions are vital to the safe and secure operation of our small government. They can't go empty or suffer an extended and awkward transition. Therefore, I'm offering you their jobs. Sheriff and Chief Administrator. I'd like your answers as soon as possible. Now, in fact. You stayed here last night? Who owns it? How did you even find it? Long story. I'll tell you everything in a bit. But first, I want to talk to you about Bigby Wolf. He's suspicious of me. Well, sure, but that's his job. He suspects every new arrival. But it's different with me. I told you what he did to me. To my family. Remember? Every word, but that was pre-amnesty. Well, he suffered for those particular crimes. You cut his belly open and sewed it up with rocks, and then threw him into a lake to drown. Only to now discover he escaped that fate. Not easily. He told me the whole story last night. It took him three weeks to pass those stones. Enough of them to swim back to the surface. It was only because of who his father was that he was able to hold his breath for so long. Fine. But you're missing the point. I need someone to champion my cause. To offset his position against me. I need you once again to act as my knight in shining armor. Anything, but even without my help, you're certain to be invited into the community. It's just a matter of slogging through the red tape. The only thing that might take any real time is your pre-induction interrogation. More of an interview, really. Everyone has to divulge as much as possible about their past in order to gather intelligence about the homelands. Since you've been a slave of the adversary centuries longer than any of us, it'll probably take some time getting every bit of information from you. That's where you can be the most help. Things would go smoother if I knew more about what I'm facing. Tell me about the farm. Who's up there? What magic items do you people possess, and where are they stored? Look like many of them were in the business office. But- And how many witches, warlocks, and sorcerers do you- do we have here? Right, you don't need to know any of that to join Fable Town. This isn't like U.S. naturalization where you'll be quizzed about details of the Constitution and government organization before you can be sworn in. Actually, wanting to know that kind of stuff will make Bigby more suspicious. No, oh, poo on that flea-bitten old monster. I'm tired of talking about him. Let's talk about you and me why you haven't even kissed me yet. If you insist. <clears throat> Wake already, Blue? Too early. I'm back to bed. I can't. I've already been awake too long thinking, trying to convince myself I'm mistaken about you. Huh? Who are you? I know you aren't Riding Hood. Can you tell me what you did with her? I warned you. I changed centuries of torture. Don't even try that with me, lady. Just tell me who you are before I turn you in. And what's with this place? Mind your manners, young man. 
I won't be addressed with such contempt. Shall we kill him, mistress? Shoot him with multitudes of bullets? Massive target practice? Not yet. I want him finely chopped and cooked in my stew. But first, I need to question him. Thoroughly. And not in so pleasant a fashion as I'd originally planned. Made into food? Oh, the humiliation. <laughs>